traditional tag team wrestling. Count three thousand years old. Round one. Let's go. What happens if you punch a gender? Round two. Let's go. What happens if you punch a gender? Round three thousand years old. Round one. Let's go. What happens if you punch a gender? Let's say if you're at the hit the draw on Ola, he's not late to the front of the champion. Let's hear it, Jack. Let's hear it. It's that moment of truth, Mike, where we see if Arjun is actually going to work those takedowns we talked about, talk about or, or try to put fists, fists in Brandon's, Brandon's face. face. He's never allowed to relax. He's never allowed to relax. There we go. Well, well, he said he wants to keep this, this pressure, pressure on. He does not, not want to give Brandon, Brandon Vera the chance, Vera the chance, chance to start coming, coming forward. So he's, so he's going to keep that forward pressure, pressure until, until Brandon Vera breaks. Brandon's, Brandon's switching to Southpaw here. Both yeah, putting Southpaw stance at the moment. Nice inside leg to get a Southpaw back to Orthodox now. Southpaw again for Brandon. The champion has finished everyone at heavyweight. Good low check there from Pua. Double left hand from Pua. Orthodox stance now from him, also from the champion. One way to Jack from Vera. Pua's doing a great job here with his head movement moving around. He's backing Brandon up. He's not getting overly anxious, over pursuing, which Brandon oftentimes depends on for those counter strikes that he lands. And Arjun Pua becomes India's first ever. World champion. Yeah, Rich, yeah, Rich Bull's also, also got really good parrying tactics. tactics. He's doing, doing a good, good job, job of defending with his guard and not taking, taking a lot of these shots straight, straight on, which a lot of people have done. And Bull landed a nice right hand, hand right there. Right there. there. Henry, Henry Hook pulling for the jab. jab. Once the left cross the company. Here, constantly switching style to this open round. Good job. And see, this is the most static I've ever seen Brandon. He's typically moving his feet, and this time he's, he's planted without hardly any footwork. I'm not sure if this was a strategic decision or if he's making a mistake here. Typically, you see a lot of lateral movement from Vera. He's always moving backwards in circles around the wall. He utilizes the entire space very well. But you can see how Pillar turns and cuts off that circle. He's not allowing Brandon to utilize that movement as Pillar again comes over the right hand. Brandon's going to be careful not to drop that left glove. Pillar trying to thread the overhand right. He's coming close to the ice now. That's just the jab is Pula. Both these guys are switch, switch hitting. They're both staying, changing, changing stances, stances just, just to give each other a different look. look. And, they're and they're also very effective on both stances. Jab, jab to overhand right, right again. Go for the, the head out to make it there. Arjun Bula. I think the cell full stop. Jab. From Vera. Bula's doing a great job with these little micro movements with his feet. Faint there with the jab. Throws Brandon on his foot. First takedown attempt was successful as he turned the corner, corner on a single leg. leg. Brandon Bear's got high level, level jiu jitsu, jitsu here. here. We you haven't, haven't often seen, seen it in one championship, championship from Brandon Bear because, because most of these fights come to the feet. Exactly. And they also end around this time, too. They rarely go past the first round. round. And Bear's doing, doing a good job right now controlling the half. Not really trying to pass. You can see Bear is trying to attack the left arm of Bowler. He might be looking for a Kimura on that side and possibly using for a sweep. Bowler's really heavy here in the guard. Bowler's staying heavy to keep that left arm on the protected because, because Brandon, Brandon has, has that lockdown, lockdown on that arm. arm. So, so Bowler's, Bowler's doing a good job of like wrapping that out into his waist because, because, because if he tries, tries to move, he's going to pick, pick that waist up inevitably just for movement, movement purposes. purposes. And that's, that's going to open that hole for Brandon, Brandon to be able to pull, pull that arm out. out. Let's go, where's the finish? Got a minute in it. One minute, one minute remaining, remaining, first round, six for five, five and out. Well, we're going to get one title here at one championship time to go. The edge of their seats in the Philippines for Brandon Vera. The edge of their seats in India on star for Arjun Bula. And certainly so much interest right around the world. Let's go, what's the finish? Especially to see if Arjun Bula can not only become the first man to beat Vera at heavyweight here, but the first man to become a world champion from India. Kind of stale right, right now. Oh, no. Well, we only got 25 seconds, though. You can see Bullard trying to create some movement, trying to create some problems. It's a hard to move forward. Look how heavy he is in the half guard. 
Rich, is there, is there any scoring going, going on here? No, no I, I, I mean, Borland is scoring, scoring on the takedown. Take there hasn't been much done since that. Brandon is looking for the submission, hold, submission hold, hold, but he hasn't, he hasn't been, been, able been able to isolate enough, enough to really, really create, create any kind of danger for Borland. So, this really is a stalemate position. Heel kicks the hamstring to end the round for Brandon Vera and Andre Bullock. Folks, let us know your thoughts. On social media, have one championship across all your social media platforms. Interesting first round. We saw Brandon with a successful late kick there as Bullock was coming forward. Good defensive strategy on the feet from Bullock, but this was the biggest moment of that first stanza. He was able to turn the corner, put Brandon Vera down. Yeah, he 
Yeah, he's doing a good job of not taking a lot of these shots. He's utilizing that veteran experience covering up really well and not taking a lot of damage right now. You can see he's trying to stand up. Buller's very heavy. Buller's picking his shots carefully not to gas out. He's got 75 seconds here to really put it on him because the momentum is definitely turning in Buller's favor. Brandon needs either turn into him. Quick, 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 quick exposes back, back like this. So he needs either turn into him or he needs to get up off his off his knees and under his feet.